understanding ecological psychology is the idea of perception-action coupling. I touched on it briefly in the affordances video, explaining how the environment creates behavior and those behaviors affect the environment. Perception-action coupling is a loop. First, we perceive. This perception leads to a force field where information initially perceived constrain the output of the skeletomuscular system and therefore action. We then perform an action. As a consequence of such action, changes occur in the flow field. In the case of visual perception, this is a different optic array or field of vision. Changes to the optic array or changes to an animal's field of vision as an animal moves around the environment directly impact on how they act. The quote from Gibson, we must perceive in order to move, but we must move in order to perceive, really sums up this process. An example in real life could be something like walking through a massive crowd. You're racing to get to the front of the pack, so you're moving throughout. You initially perceive whether you should walk, jog or run, and the direction you should move. Maybe there is a gap in the crowd. As you start moving, and depending on your speed, you'll perceive the next action differently. You may find a different gap walking than if you were running. A football-related example could be when finishing. The speed and the direction you are moving, whether you have or do not have the ball, your body position, the size of the touch that you have before you strike the ball, and whether you're dealing with pressure from a defender are all actions that impact on your perception and therefore your next action. Let's look at this finish from Messi as an example. The speed and the direction that he arrives at the ball, along with the positioning of the goalkeeper, allow him the opportunity to perceive and perform the chip finish. What implications do this have for coaches? When designing practice environments for players, it is important to provide all information that would be present in a game situation. This is because it is constantly used within the perception action loop. Ultimately, our goal as a coach is to help our players to be able to perform actions within the game, but this cannot be achieved if players are not put in environments where important information is not available. Thank you for watching.